All right, welcome. This week we talked about units, properties, and basic energy. And in that basic energy equation, we had a bunch of different terms, including kinetic energy, flow energy, potential energy, uh, internal energy, and heat energy. Well, I wanted to break that down over a couple of short videos and actually work through a couple of problems for you. We're going to start off with kinetic energy. Well, it's the equation for kinetic energy one half mass velocity squared. Now, in the units of properties video, I may have left off the square on the velocity when I was talking about that. So just to be clear, that is velocity squared. So knowing that that's the equation, let's work a problem. I'm going to do, let's say, let's say we have 25 pounds mass of steam. I hope you can read that. Twenty five pounds mass of steam. And let's say we know its velocity. It's traveling down a pipe, we'll say one hundred feet per second. Now we just have to plug these two values into their respective terms on our equation. Mass, 25 pounds mass, velocity squared, divided by 2. Now, we know that the end goal for our units is foot-pounds force. But what I have right here is feet squared, is feet squared, second squared, pounds mass. We need our conversion factor. And the conversion factor, because we're talking about kinetic energy, is G sub C. which is 32.2 foot-pounds mass per pound for second squared. Now, I can solve this 2 times 10,000 divided by 3,000 something. Three thousand eight hundred eighty one point nine foot pounds force. But this looks real messy, right? And I haven't done any unit uh, analysis here to make sure that these cancel a uh, foot with one of the foot with the, the squared there. Second squared, which leaves me a foot pounds force. Everything else is canceled out. But that's real messy. And it's going to be real hard to keep track of. So if you haven't already done this, let's look at the ladder method. When I say ladder, I'm saying L-A-D-D-E-R. Sometimes my my Idaho, and I started doing a southern thing there. That's so wrong. I've lived a lot of places. My Idaho accent comes through. 
So let's set this up on a ladder thing to make it nice and clean. We'll start with mass. Velocity squared. I'm just going to carry the squared onto each term and, and uh, unit, the units and the term, so that we can keep track of that appropriately. You don't want to drop a square somewhere. Now we'll do the two. And then we're going to add the conversion factor. This is how you should be doing all your problems. Nice and clean. So on the top, I know I have 25 times 10,000. And on the bottom, I know I have 2 times 32.2. Okay, let's make sure we have the right units. Pounds mass, pounds mass, those cancel out. Second squared, second squared, cancels out. I've got a foot down here, which removes the square, one of the two feet, right? So I've left with foot pounds force. And my answer is 25. So the kinetic energy of 25 pounds mass of steam moving at 100 feet per second is the 25 pounds mass times the 100 feet per second squared divided by 2 times the gravitational constant. Set your equation up, set your problem up in a ladder style, solve the problem. Insert your terms, solve the problem.